Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Tuesday. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. What movies are you going to watch? this season, we always watch like the regulars, right? Like It's a Wonderful Life. We have to watch that one. We do Miracle on 34th Street. I always argue to watch the original, but my family only wants to watch the one in color, you know, so whatever. Okay. And then how many of you know you got to watch uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas? Right? And remember when they finally fix up Charlie Brown's Christmas tree and all the kids sing, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. <gasps> The leaves are bright. You know how they would all breathe um, in unison. But anyways, okay, let's go to God's word. Second Timothy chapter four, verse 15. Paul says to Timothy, beware of him yourself, for he strongly opposed our message. Now, yesterday we talked about how Alexander, Paul's talking about this guy, Alexander, who did him great harm. And the lesson yesterday was not to pay him back vengeance, right? Like let the Lord pay him and your job is just to love him. But notice Paul as a mentor to Timothy the mentee, he's on the one hand lamenting that Alexander did him great harm, but now he's warning Timothy that hey, if he did me great, if he did great harm to me, he may do great harm to you as well. And he says in the text, "Beware of him yourself," reminding us that one of the most gracious and kind things you'll ever do for someone you love is protect them from someone else who can hurt them and to warn them about something else that can hurt them. Now, you, I hope you know where I'm going because I don't think you know. Let me put it this way. Uh, a lot of us know this and inherently get this unless it'll be awkward or unless it'll hurt the person with the warning we have to give them. And a lot of times we allow our addiction to our comfort to replace our call to courage to protect somebody else from being hurt are being jeopardized by some decisions they're making in their life. How many of you have been, you know, had, had a girlfriend and, right? And um, she's dating this idiot and everybody knows it, but nobody tells her. You know what I'm saying? How many of us have had that friend, right? And we see him, we see him pursuing a business in a terrible way, right? Or he's making terrible decisions, but we just say, eh, you know, whatever, you know? And that's not of the gospel, right? And watch Paul here saying to Timothy, okay, beware of him yourself. Now, here's the crazy thing. Alexander was probably a really close friend to both of them, but Paul was not willing to allow the idiosyncrasies and the potential awkwardness of that to stop him from his gospel requirement to protect his friend. It's like me and my little girl, Andy, running out into the street and I see a car coming, and as a father, I don't stop her from running out into traffic. That's what happens when you know better than someone in your life, but you don't tell them better. And Paul is saying, tell them better, right? So anyways, at the end of the day, I want you to think about the wisdom God gave you, the insight God gave you, and whether or not you're sharing that wisdom and insight with someone you love, someone you're doing life with, to say, hey, beware of that because that won't be healthy for you. And here's the crazy thing about it. Even if they don't receive, at least you get to plant the seed and maybe God will use that to turn their lives around. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.